Okay, question 21, bit of a tricky question here. Um, to, we're required to prove algebraically that the difference between the squares of any two consecutive integers is equal to the sum of these two integers. Now, generally with proof, um, it's better off, you're better off starting with, with one part of the question and then introduce uh, the rest of the information a little bit later. So let's, uh, let's worry about this. The difference between the squares of any two consecutive integers. Okay, well, if, if one integer was, say, n, that means the next integer, because they have to be consecutive, would be n plus 1. And I need to work out what the difference between the squares of these two integers is. Now, I'm going to work out the difference between n plus 1 squared take away n squared. Now, you might wonder, why haven't you done n squared take away n plus 1 all squared? Well, I know that n plus 1 squared is going to be bigger than n squared. So I want to keep my answer positive just to make life a little bit easier for myself. So that's equal to, um, well, n plus 1 squared means n plus 1 times by itself. And I need to take away n squared. Uh, n times n, n squared. n times 1 is n. 1 times n is n. And 1 times 1 is 1 and I need to take away n squared. So tidying that up, we get 2n plus 1. So n plus 1 squared take away n squared is 2n plus 1. So that's the, um, the difference between the squares. So now I need to check what the sum of the two integers would be. So the sum would be adding n plus n plus 1. And n plus n plus 1 is 2n plus 1. And we can clearly see that 2n plus 1 is equal to 2n plus 1. 2n plus 1 is equal to 2n plus 1. Therefore, it's proved.